Good morning, friends. It's actually noon. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Um, we're gonna get a little bit of school done before I have to go. Well, we have to go to a doctor's appointment for me. I have to see the rheumatologist today for my six month checkup. And my eyes look so tired. I've had like a headache for two days and going to sleep early and sleeping in and um, my eyes are just still tired apparently. But yes, doctor's appointment. And tonight Alice and I have AHG. Um, it's supposed to be warm today. The sun is nice and shiny. So I'm hoping that gives me some get up and go. What buddy? Yes. It's to hang daddy's ax. Leave oh. him alone please. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get the kids a little snack real quick and then sit down with them and do a little bit of school before we have to go. We got about less than an hour. And then that's, yeah, that's what's happening for now. We'll have to finish school when I get, when we get back. Um, and I just drew a blank. Finish school when we get back from the doctor. Uh, and then Alice and I will leave for AHG shortly after that. Alice, you need to brush your hair. Working on some cursive writing, finishing that up, and then I'm gonna sit with them and answer some history questions. And then we have some language arts. And then that might be it before we leave. Look what we got, friends. Our new variety fun box. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, sour cream and onion pop chips. If you're not familiar with Variety Fun, it is a subscription snack box, and this is considered their fun variety box. They also have a fit variety box Why are they gummy bears? that has more like protein snacks in it. Those are not gummy bears, those are fruit snacks. Um, as you can tell, my kids love these. Um, Will usually will sneak in here and grab his favorites. The kids often try to claim their favorites, and we just love the surprise. Hey, camera. How's that working for you? It's working very great. Thank you. Anyway, Friday Fun, there is a, I stumbled over my words. There is a coupon code, discount code for you in the description box below if you would like to check them out to get, I believe it's 50% off your very first shipment of Variety Fun. Oh, and then you just flung them into the sink. <laughs> Luckily, it's a clean sink. Oh, my kids. Would you recommend Variety Fun? No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> it's 3.30. I'm home from a doctor's appointment. After that, we went to the post office, checked the P.O. box, and then the library, and then CVS, and then the car wash, and then got gas at Costco, and now home. So I accomplished quite a bit in those few hours. Um, at the rheumatologist, it's just my six month checkup. Talked to her about some of the symptoms I've been having with back pain, um, psoriasis in my ears, and she um, did blood work. We do blood work every six months just to make sure everything's going okay there as far as liver and kidney function and checking my inflammation markers. Um, so just kind of refilled all my meds for the next six months and got everything straightened out and then Blood work, they took a few vials. Um, I should have blood work results back in just a few days. It's just standard, just to make sure everything's running the way it should. It's gorgeous outside. Will is still working. He is going to be working for, he went, he's going to another store right now. He'll probably get home about the time Alice and I have to leave for AHG tonight. So I'll have dinner prepped and ready for when he gets home because he'll be starving doing breakfast burritos tonight, so nothing super fancy, but it's one of his favorites, so that works out well for a long day for him. Um, I'm gonna sit down and see what else we can accomplish for school today. Um, like I said, it's already 3.30, and I'd like to, to have the kids go outside, so maybe I'll just let them skip math, and skip math, go outside and play for a few hours, and then they can do their reading later tonight or something. It's gonna depend on their attitudes, because Jack, just came down a minute ago from upstairs and he was being kind of sassy so we'll see we'll see what we what works forgot to show this the other day um this was ooh, the lighting is not there we go um a gift from liliana from um when they all went to the daddy daughter dance there's that picture on that side of liliana alice and mila and then that one on that side with this little picture clip that they're gonna paint i thought that was cute Making some food for Jack. Not really lunch, not really dinner. 
carrots and ranch, and a corn dog and ketchup. I know, it, 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 I dropped it on accident. Alice chopped up a cucumber. She's gonna have some cucumber with ranch. And then she made a can of beefaroni that she's gonna have up here. My leg is really Yeah, dry skin probably. Yeah, when I, I like rubbed my leg when I just got out of the shower and like. Did you put like, lotion on? Usually you do. No. And there was like skin flakes on my leg. Yeah. Um, one thing you can do is when you're in the shower, use your loofah with body wash, which you probably do anyway, but scrub ex not extra hard. You don't want to like damage your skin, but scrub all the dead skin off. And then when you get out, you can put lotion on. Or you also have um, ranches on the bottom. You also have body scrub, don't you? Yeah. That'll help get all the dead skin off too. I've got dinner prepped for when Will gets home. Um, breakfast burritos, so breakfast sausage, eggs, and potatoes in there. Hello, hello. It is late. It's 10 o'clock. It's not as late as it could be, right? Uh, especially considering I'm a night owl, but I did want to, I sat down to edit what I already had recorded for today. Um, I just wanted to go into depth on a few more things in regarding my rheumatology appointment this afternoon and couldn't remember exactly what I talked about earlier, so editing it helped. But I got my blood work back. That was quick, so same day results. While I was at AHG, I got the email that that was back. And everything looked good, except that my liver enzymes were slightly elevated and my platelets were a little bit high, I believe is what it was. But she said nothing to be really concerned about, especially where I had been sick somewhat recently. Um, I guess it wasn't that, it was like around New Year's and we're already mid-February, but I was sick and it lingered for a few weeks, it felt like, but she said just with my immune system that that could be causing some lingering elevation in my blood work. Also could be causing the back aches that I'm getting at night again. So I have ankylosing spondylitis, which is arthritis in the spine, and I take a weekly injection of Enbrel to help combat that, which is amazing. and. It's just, it has changed my my life. Um, if you've been around for like some of my health journey, you know that I used to be on Humira and that technically was the, the start of my life being changed in such a tremendous way because for 10, 15 years, I could not sleep long periods of time without my back hurting. So I would literally have to sit propped up in my bed or I would have to move to the couch after just a few hours of laying flat and it went on like that forever. And after years and years and years of every test under the sun, once we moved to Lexington and I found this rheumatologist that I see, um, this office, she was like, I'm gonna run a test for ankylosing spondylitis. And lo and behold, that's what I have. So once we got started, we got my, me started on Humira, it, the back pain has improved tremendously. So anyway, fast forward, I switched to Enbrel last year because I was starting to get psoriasis behind my ears and in my ears, like behind was really bad, like cracking and bleeding and just highly uncomfortable. Um, so we switched from Humira to Enbrel because Humira can sometimes cause psoriasis when you've been on it for a while, even though it is also used to treat psoriatic arthritis, so it's weird, but I've come to question nothing when it comes to my body because I am just the anomaly in so many ways when it comes to my diagnoses. So anyway, I told her today that I'm still getting, like it's, it's healed back behind my ears, but I still get it inside my ears, which is highly irritating and annoying for the most part. It's not painful unless I've had to like, maybe TMI, but like scrape the dead skin off that's in there because it's like a, a plaque buildup of skin. And so I'll sometimes have to like, it's flaky, so I have to scrape it out so I can hear properly. And sometimes that'll leave back behind like open, like sores, basically like cuts. So um, anyway, I mentioned it to her. She's like, no, that's not something that you have to live with. Like, in fact, go to like Walmart and get Scalpacin, which is you, it's like by the shampoo and stuff. And she said, get the extra strength and just put a few drops either on a Q-tip and just kind of like rub it in there. Or if you're out and about and it's bothering you, you can just squeeze a drop in there and kind of use your finger to apply it. And she said she uses it. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to try that because it's just annoying. So that is on my list of things to try for my ear. 
Um, and she did start me on a week-long regimen of steroids to see if the back pain that I've been experiencing again recently is just lingering inflammation around like my joints and my spine and stuff from when I was sick around New Year's. Um, if it's lingering inflammation, it could be causing that stiffness and soreness. So using the steroids to kind of reset my body a little bit and kind of shock it back into like normal. Uh, but along with steroid use, luckily it's not long term, luckily it should just be this week. But she said if once I taper down at the end of the week, like if I notice things are improving and then when I taper down, they start getting bad again to let her know. And we might have to do either a longer reset um, of prednisone or we'll discuss options because definitely don't want to be suffering with back pain. And she said that steroids might actually clear up my inside my ears too. Which I think the last time I took steroids, it's been a while, the last time I was on prednisone, it did clear up inside my ears. So it might just be that there's excess inflammation. I don't know. I'll have to. Anyway, that's where we stand on that. I have had a weird headache that has been coming and going for the past two to three days at this point. Like it's back right now and I don't know why. Like I don't think it's a caffeine headache. I haven't been drinking much caffeine as it is, and so I shouldn't be, like, withdrawing from caffeine because, like, I might have a Pepsi Zero once every few days, if that. I haven't even been drinking coffee or tea lately. I just haven't been in the mood for it. Um, so I haven't really had any caffeine, so I don't think it's caffeine-related. But it's just weird. It's, like, right behind my eyes, and it's not, like, super strong, and it's not turning into a migraine or anything, but... It was gone for most of the day yesterday and then it came back in the evening and I actually napped yesterday. We had a bowling party with our homeschool group and Valentine's exchange. So we did that in the morning. I got home and I napped because I was just so overstimulated. It was so loud, like it was fun, but it was just a lot for someone who um, I recharge best just in quiet. So we got home from that and then I was awake for a little bit and then I passed back out on the couch watching Castle and will like shut the house down and we went upstairs after I napped for a bit and I went straight to bed and then I slept in this morning and then it came back this afternoon the headache did so I don't know what the deal is so anyway just kind of dealing with that and just feeling kind of slightly off kilter um, it hasn't really affected like my everyday day-to-day -day stuff that I've been, had to do other than the fact that the past two nights it sent me to sleep early like I've crashed on the Tuesday's what Tuesday Sunday night Will and I both fell asleep on the couch and went to bed at like 10 which is early for us me especially but um and then what was that Saturday it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but I woke up Sunday with the headache and we missed church because of it and I went back to bed for a few hours um so just hoping that that goes away soon because I have no idea what's causing it and it just I feel stiff I don't know Maybe it's just inflammation. Maybe it's just my body is weird and it's doing its thing. But I'm going to close this out because my battery is beeping at me. Um, but that was my update from the rheumatology appointment today. Blood work looks okay overall. And if I just if I start feeling any worse or the symptoms don't improve with the steroids, I just need to contact her again and see where to go next. So other than that, I will see her in six months. I'm going to close this out, get this edited and scheduled. I have a grocery haul to edit and schedule for after this. And then I'm going to do my devotions and Bible app before bed and head to sleep soon. Tomorrow I have a pain clinic appointment at 930 in the morning. So I'll take the kids with me to that. And then we have a few errands to run and then we'll get home and do school. So that's just a look into what you will be seeing on tomorrow's vlog. So drop a comment, share some love. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.